I love when viewers have a completely different interpretation from mine when visiting not only my exhibition but any art exhibition. So closing the meaning to a single understanding would be producing a jail for the work and limiting or censoring people's audiences' uh, readings. So I prefer to embrace contradiction and instability, both formally and conceptually, including my own interpretation. That is, of course, the first one, but doesn't mean that it's the best. My name is Abraham Cruz Villegas. The title of my exhibition is Little Song. The two main characters, I would say, in this narrative are copper and blackberries, fresh blackberries. And uh, I encapsulated these two materials in different presentations, in plasters, in molds that I made, like a, my, my scale, my proportions, my hand size, and pouring a plaster with water that it went solid rapidly, so I had to add many objects into the plaster so it dries all together. Once it dried plaster, I smashed or squeezed fresh blackberries atop the plaster, and then we added some layers of wax uh, on it, so to encapsulate more objects, as I said using again like copper in another presentation like a wire, cables, coins, and so on. Also, I used some other objects that I accumulated in my, in my studio storage for some <clears throat> now maybe 30 years that are kind of leftovers of previous projects in different moments and places. So they are like sponges from Athens, a, uh, fish nets for, from Michoacán in, the, in Mexico, from Morocco, from other places. They are like little pieces of uh, pipe and uh, horn or shells or uh, materials that I used or from London, pieces of wood that I used at uh, uh, my project at the Tate Modern and so from, from Cuba. I have Havanos, I like uh, cigars and I have like uh, many things like pieces of instruments, uh, butterfly cocoons. Uh, I mean, like it's it's uh, again like uh, seeing my life in a single gaze, and this is the specificity of it. It it, it provides, let's say, some pieces of my own experience, but autonomous from me. It's kind of a gathering of old friends or relatives that don't see each other for a while. And now they have like little conversations in these kind of micro universes that collide in this exhibition. Ay, la, la, la. El pescadito me dio una mordida de helado que lo alimentara yo antes que se acabe el lago. ¿Qué cosas te digo yo que me llenan de tristeza? Pátzcuaro ya se acabó, yo me rasco la cabeza. Ya no hay vida donde había ni tampoco ecosistema. Each little object in, in my work uh, includes references to the way I understand, let's say, work, labor, as joy, and also enjoying with friends while working. So we have also here lots of uh, uh, beer bottle caps, uh, champagne uh, uh, corks, and pieces of instruments like a trombone or a horn or a, a drumsticks. Las caguamas decomisaron y quemaron la marihuana, pero no le quitaron las ganas de fumarse a veces un gallo. Aprons. My mother used to sell pants, school uniforms, shirts, socks, brassieres, panties, and thongs. But she also sold aprons. Many women wore them at home, but also at big demonstrations. They went there with their children to the government offices, screaming, yelling, claiming for the property of their lands. The land belongs to those who work it. That's what Zapata said. That's why he was betrayed. That's why he was killed. The process of making these elements in Mexico was thought in terms of having all possibilities 
here in the space as uh, thinking in installing them as sitting on the floor, hanging on the wall, hanging from the ceiling, laying against the wall, like uh, trying to test all poss space possibilities as a sculptor. But of course, now after or once I, I'm, I'm making this exhibition, I see some of them as drawings, some of them as paintings, some of them as sculptures, but also some of them as installation, if you want. But uh, it's more about like uh, trying to break myself with all these tags that, or taxonomies of art language and trying to test myself in, in, in terms of producing new vocabulary for myself in, uh, in working here directly in the space, improvising, as I almost always do. Wepumbe, wepumbe, wepumbe. Give me one of those and I'll beat them with you, with 